Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. I have just been on a poodle binge. <laughs> I have been just like um, recreating the bows and collars and to my poodles and I made the bone tutorial today and I also thought it would be fun to do little dog toys. So that's what I'm going to do in this tutorial. They're these little little dog toys that you can have your little poodle um, you know, play with. So if you made my poodle or whatever other dog or whatever, you know, it can eat the toys and I don't know, it's just cute. So these little flat dog toys, they actually remind me of my own dog's toys because her toys are flat and she likes to whip them around. Um, now these are all very similar designs. The template is pretty much the same. I just obviously changed the colors. The feet are a little different on each of them. Um, obviously on the moose and the giraffe I have antlers okay but um, I'm gonna be doing a little dog for the dog so pretty much if you want these animals I'm probably not gonna do, do a tutorial but you can kind of figure out um, how to put the bands because it's very similar to this okay so let's do the little dog you need about 90 bands for this and then the colors depend on what color you're making the dog okay so I'm doing the caramel brown as the main body color, and I'm going to do a dark brown spot, dark brown ears. And yeah, so if you want to do that with me, it's going to be about 50 of the caramel brown, about 15 white, 22 of the burgundy brown, 3 black, and 1 color for the collar, whatever color you want the collar to be. Alright, so we're going to start by double looping a caramel band. Your loom is in the offset position. Okay, so I double looped a caramel. Now I'm going to put two caramel here. Double loop a caramel. Now I'm going to double loop a burgundy. Put a spot on the back. Double loop a burgundy again. Double loop a burgundy. Double loop of caramel. Take three caramels. Okay, now I'm going to double loop the caramels all the way to the bottom. Okay, going back up here, double looping. This is mostly double looped bands, just so you know. Okay, now going to the burgundy. Caramel. Caramel, diagonally like that. Let's do that on the other side. So caramel here, caramel here, burgundy, burgundy, caramel, caramel. Okay, now we're going to do the head, so double loop the caramel here. Now if you're doing an animal with antlers, like I did the moose and the giraffe, you're going to put them on these bands as you put them on, okay? So like if I was doing a moose, I would have slipped the antler onto this band right there. Okay, same thing with the giraffe. Oops, that's the wrong color. I want the caramel brown. This is all caramel brown. Now, if you're doing an animal with a nose at the tip of the snout, like the fox, okay, you're going to take a black or whatever color and you're going to use that as the capping band, wrapping it around, creating four loops. Now, if you're doing like a moose where you have two little nostrils, you're going to put the nostrils on the horizontal band here. 
So let's put the horizontal band on right here. So if you were doing an animal with nostrils, you'd slip the nostrils on right here onto those horizontal bands, okay? Let's put another double looped here. Let's do the eyes. So the eyes are the same for all the animals that I've done. So just wrap a black around creating four loops and another creating four loops. Double loop a band. Pull them on. Put the loops around the pegs, spread them apart. And move the two bands above the peg. Okay, let's make an ear now. So I'm going to take the dark brown, I'm going to wrap it three times around my peg. Then I'm going to take three bands onto my hook, pull them on, claim the ends. And take two bands, pull them on, reclaim the ends, then take a double looped single band, pull on, reclaim the end, and the ears for whatever animal you're just going to slip right onto here, and I'm going to make another one and slip it on, so make another one the exact same way, slip it on the other side, okay, so we're going to make his little legs, his little feet, so I'm using, I'm making his paws white. So I'm wrapping a white band around my hook, creating three loops. Then I'm taking two white, pulling that on, reclaiming the loops. Then I'm going to do double looped of the body color, so that's the caramel brown. And I'm going to do that four times. If you're doing a tall animal like a giraffe, you can make the legs a little bit longer. Like the giraffe, I actually did five instead of four. You're doing a smaller animal, and obviously you can do less. Okay, and then I'm just going to put that so it's curving upward onto that peg there. So you want to make three more legs that are the same. One's going to go here. One's going to go here, and one's going to go here. Okay, I'm going to double loop a caramel, put that here, double loop a burgundy, put that here, and another, and another burgundy there, okay? So now I can pretty much loop this, um, the tail's not done, we're going to add more once we pull this off, okay, we're going to make it a little bit longer, okay, so Let's loop this. Now if this snaps, you're just going to have to deal with me as I fix it because you know what happens sometimes. You want to try to not let it snap, but if it does, I can show you how to fix it if it happens. Okay. Dig under the ear, grabbing the band, something over this side. Up, this over. Okay, good. Dig down, grabbing the three bands for the neck. Whoops. Now, if you did a giraffe, you probably would have made the neck a little bit longer than I did. Oops. Okay. Hold on, I'll fix that in a moment. So you obviously want to loop the diagonals first, so it should actually still look like that. Then you want to loop these and then these. Okay, let's go up this side first. Now if it's going to be difficult, you can actually kind of lift this up to keep it from snapping on you, okay? But you don't have to, you can leave it down. This is actually kind of an easy tutorial, but the double looped bands make it like frustrating sometimes. See, like that time it didn't overstretch, so I could easily just pick it up. Let's go up the center. Loop up these two. Loop up this one. Now I'm going to take this on my hook and I'm going to gently pull the rest off, but I'm actually going to use my hook to help me, another hook, 
because I don't want to break anything. So from the bottom going up, I'm going to very gently pull it off. Oh, it looks like a cute little floppy dog toy. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another double looped caramel onto my hook and pull that onto the tail, reclaim the end. Now I'm going to do white. I'm going to do a little dipstick tail on this guy. Oops, let's fix that. So, double loop of white. Should probably have been a double looped, but oh well. You can fix that if you want to. Make those double bands a double looped, but it doesn't really matter that much. So I put two whites on. Okay, now I'm just going to do a slip knot. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to hide this slip knot in these bands. So I'm going to go into one of the sets, pull it through. Then I'm going to go through another one, pull it through the next one, and just kind of zigzag it through. Okay, so just try to hide it in there as best you can. It's not going to be that easy to do, but yeah. There you go. So there's your little floppy dog toy. He he's a little dog. Oops, the nose looks funky. Fix your nose, buddy. Anyway, so there you go. There's your cute little toy. Okay, either way. Anyway, it's the nose isn't popping through the other side. Oh well, I can fix that after. All right, so there you go. There's your adorable little dog toy. There we go. Okay, so you can use like the same template and make like you know, a moose or fox or giraffe or any other animal, okay? So definitely go make the bone, too, so your dog has a bone. And definitely make the poodle, too, obviously. Yay! She's got all her toys. She's so happy. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun with your poodle, and I will see you for the next one.